G'day guys, Rod from Origin Campers here. We've got a special little trailer here today, Long Range V2. Now we normally do our Long Range V2s in satin black. In fact, all of our camper trails are done in satin black. We've gone out on this one and we've come up with the white one. It's satin white. It's quite a clean looking trailer. Uh, you definitely do see the windows and the doors a lot better and the stickers. Um, it has come up really nice customer was very happy with it. This is on its way to Tasmania um, next week so that will be on a truck down there. The uh, customer will get that in about a fortnight so they should be very pleased with that. I'll just show you around while we're here. Up front as usual we've got our front storage box, twin locks, seals on it, um, plenty of tie down points inside so you can tie down the six tie down points in there. Um, got a little drip edge here to make sure Nothing slides out or water goes in if it ever gets any water there when you're closing and opening doors. I've got a little anti-vibration strap there. That stops the door bouncing up and down, make sure it stays locked in here. We have our power setup. We have our AGM battery. We can put lithium in there. Charger up top there. Fuse box, power here, the running showers, and of course our little plug in the bottom where you can pull your lead up, hook it in when it's raining and close the door so you can keep charging your battery if it's raining. That way you don't fill anything up with water. Uh, now we've gone with these doors. These doors are got the um, like an ample mesh style security screen on them. They come apart like a caravan does. Tighten that up, so you can either have it like that, or close up. If you have a look in here, we've got our mattress in here. It's a lovely thick mattress. We have our windows over there with blinds and fly screens that go up and down. Ceiling fan, storage up the back, and on the front parcel shelf. We have our USB and 12 volt points there. We just head around the side. If you want to head around that way, I'll um, open up the door. The back door, we'll show you the kitchen. Um, not a lot's changed in the kitchen, but we certainly have changed the outside look a little bit. And we uh, go on the white. It does suck tight, that one. So in the kitchen, pretty standard setup in the kitchen. Um, got our kitchen drawer, and then we've got the other one that comes out with it to give you a little bit more cooking space. Then inside here, storage shelf, storage in there, rear fuse control setup that runs all the fuses, all, all the lights, everything from the rear of the trailer, including that. Got our side table, a bit more storage in here, and of course our storage pots, pans, plates, and whatever else you want to put down there. Let's have a look around here. So, with um, with our normal setup, we have a storage compartment in there. Goes in about 500 mil, then turns into a round tube goes the rest of the way so you can store longer items um, you can get quite a lot in there and it's carpeted so things don't tend to rattle around so much got a hand pump uh, this trailer actually has three water tanks so it's got three 60 litre water tanks standards two we put a third one up the front um, and we can connect them separately so you have two tanks running off one one pump and the third tank running off another one that's a hand pump setup only um, there's a few other ways we can set them up but you can always talk to us have a quick look in here um, that's just a view from the other side of the trailer Standard awning, 2.5 by 2 meter awning on this one. 
customers gone with that instead of a, a 180 or a 270. Um, they've only gone for one awning. Uh, we'll have a look up there. You can probably see a flat rack roof rack. Um, customer wanted a roof rack on it, which is easy for us to do. And that particular one doesn't have sides on it, but again, that's another thing the customer wanted. He didn't want sides on it, he just wanted a flat rack. Um, probably a clearance issue with his garage. Uh, in here, got a storage set up in here. Flick the light on for you. I uh, will take a fold up chair in there. Um, camp bed length, it's about um, a metre long. So, fits quite a few good things in there. I'll just leave that for a sec. Quite a few good, good size things, I should say. Um, bridge slide set up. Uh, we also run a Anderson plug. If you have a look up in here, we've got the Anderson plug set up. Um, again, fully insulated walls and a ceiling in here to help with keeping that fridge cooler when the sun's beating down on the top of the tray. An insulated door. This will take up to a 50 litre fridge. Uh, got customers who run angels. Um, 50 litre angels. Fits in there perfectly. You've still got plenty of head height, so there's lots of airflow in there. Um, they do work really well in there. Again, you shut the fruit, uh, shut the door, put both the locks in, hook the vibration strap on. Again, that stops the door vibrating up and down, helps to keep the dust under control. Uh, up top here, we've got our storage rack up here. Uh, it is carpeted to help stop stuff sliding around. Uh, we do have tie down points here. These can be used for tie down points, but obviously you can't put as much pressure on them as you can with these. So these are for lighter items and that. If you really want to tie something down, you can use these. That will help a lot more. Up front, we've also got our gutter system. Uh, hook a tube onto that and that. Drain it down onto the ground into a bucket. Um, at least that way you're not getting water splashing into the doors if it's got heavy rain and all the water shooting off the front of your trailer. Uh, we've got our heavy duty tyre, heavy duty rim, um, heavy duty A-frame with a strap as always and we do have the McHitch 3.5 tonne hitch. Oh dog, what are you doing Dickie? You going up? Uh, we've got a handbrake set up and a heavy duty jockey wheel. Come out here mate, let's have a look around here. Um, so that's um, pretty much it for the long range V2, the white version. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, tell us whether you're, um, you're interested in grabbing a white one or whether they look any better than the black ones. Alright guys, that's me from Origin Campus, thanks a lot.